ప్రియమైన తెలంగాణ రాష్ట్ర ప్రజలందరికీ గణతంత్ర దినోత్సవ శుభాకాంక్షలు ఐ ఎక్స్టెండ్ మై వామ్ గ్రీటింగ్స్ టు యూ ఆల్ ఆన్ అవర్ సెవెంటీ థర్డ్ రిపబ్లిక్ డే ది కాన్స్టిట్యూషన్ ఆఫ్ ఇండియా కేమ్ ఇన్ టు ఎఫెక్ట్ ఆన్ దిస్ వెరీ డే ఇన్ ద ఇయర్ నైన్టీన్ ఫిఫ్టీ సెవెంటీ టూ ఇయర్స్ అగో ఇండియా హ్యాస్ బికమ్ ఎ రిపబ్లిక్ కంట్రీ వేర్ ద కంట్రీ హ్యావ్ ది కలెక్టివ్ పవర్ టు డిజైన్ దర్ డెస్టినీ దిస్ ఇస్ ద డే టు సెలబ్రేట్ అవర్ డెమోక్రటిక్ అండ్ రిపబ్లిక్ కంట్రీ అండ్ బీ ప్రౌడ్ ఆఫ్ ఇట్స్ అవరినిటీ ఐ ఆఫర్ మై గ్రేటెస్ట్ ట్రిబ్యూట్స్ టు బాబా సాహెబ్ డాక్టర్ బిఆర్ అంబేద్కర్ అండ్ అదర్ ఆర్కిటెక్ట్స్ ఆఫ్ అవర్ గ్రేట్ ఇండియన్ కాన్స్టిట్యూషన్ who enshrined the noble principles of liberty equality and fraternity we must be proud of our constitution our heritage and our shared values at a time when the country is celebrating the azadi ka amrut mahotsav the 75 years of independence it is important for all of us to take forward the spirit of republic day among all sections of the people our honorable prime minister sri narendra modi ji on the occasion of international women's day on 8th march 2018 launched the poshan abhiyan prime ministers overreaching scheme for holistic nutrition abhiyan to overcome the problem of malnutrition and to improve the nutritional outcome for children pregnant women and lactating mothers taking a cue from this i initiated the nutritional intervention program for the benefit of the primitive tribal groups people in selective districts to reach out the unreached we are working in a multi pronged approach to improve the livelihood health nutrition and employment opportunities for the people belonging to the primitive tribal groups similarly through the atmanirbhar self employment training programs we are making constant efforts to economically empower the women initiatives like chancellor connects and lemni and galvanizing the higher education system in the state with a series of programs to promote the national education policy 2020 are likely to have transformative impact in near future promoting education health nutrition entrepreneurship and employment opportunities among women are vital for the foster progress of the telangana state and the nation getting the second dose of vaccine administered along with the tribal women to dispel the vaccine hesitancy intensely promoting vaccination facilitating covid and flood relief material mobilization and distribution offering telemedicine launching rajbhavan annam for school children and needy staff guiding indian red cross society in mobilizing blood units for the thalassemia patients during the pandemic launching e office in rajbhavan regularly interacting with people from different walks of life working for the promotion of ancient tribal art forms introduction of the academic social responsibility in the state universities felicitating tribal patma shri awardees donate a device a program of providing laptops to the poor students to bridge the digital gap in education launching of suggestion come grievance box at the rajbhavan for the public to share the ideas and vent their grievances where among other programs initiated by rajbhavan that have given great satisfaction in the service of the people of telangana with the concerted and well directed efforts of the government of india and the state government and the strong resolute and will power of the people of india the spread of covid-19 was effectively checked resulting in the lowest test positivity rate as well as the lowest case fatality rate and while registering higher recovery rate i thank our honorable prime minister sri narendra modi ji for arranging administration of a record number of 160 crore free vaccine doses to all and also to supply indigenous produced vaccines to more than 150 countries in the world 
it is time to salute our scientists, doctors, paramedical staff, nurses and other frontline warriors for helping India implement the world's largest vaccination drive in a seamless manner. The development, production and free distribution of our indigenous COVID vaccine are a true testimony to our spirit of self-reliance. I salute all the frontline warriors of the COVID-19 for the relentless and selfless services since the outbreak of COVID-19 and for making the vaccination drive a successful one. I appeal all the people to be vigilant and follow all COVID precautions to counter the third wave effectively. On this auspicious occasion of the 73rd Republic Day, let us all rededicate ourselves to the cause of upholding the ideals, rights and values enshrined in the Indian Constitution. I once again extend my heartiest wishes to you all on the eve of our 73rd Republic Day celebrations. Jai Hind, Jai Telangana.